Hey! Hi, I didn't see you there. How's it going? Just had to come down and shoot a few hoops and uh, get a little exercise, but I think it's actually more important that you guys get some exercise. Yeah, so we'll get rid of the ball. Hope everybody's doing okay. Like we know, the world might be taking a break right now, but Parkinson's does not take a break. So I thought I'd make a few videos to uh, send out to everybody. Get you moving, get some exercises happening. So, got a few uh, wives contact me saying their husbands aren't doing much, so <laughs> we'll give it a shot. So let's just do a little bit of work together. We're gonna start just kind of opening, closing your fingers. You can do the standing or sitting, it's up to you. Sorry if I sound all echoey in here, I got the whole place to myself. And turn those wrists, that's it. Rotate. Good. Now we're gonna put the palms up, pull back, squeeze the shoulder blades together, hold for a few seconds, reach. Nice tall posture. Take some nice deep breaths in and out. Yeah. Arms to your side. We're just gonna swing them up, touch your fingertips together. Nice and gentle. Just let them swing. You're not really using your arm muscles at this point. We're just swinging to loosen up. You'll feel better for it. Good, nice big swings. Bring those feet in a little closer. Good. Now we're gonna reach up and across, up and across. Like you're picking a plum. Pick a plum from a tree. There we go. Good. One at a time, reach forward. Reach, stretch out those back muscles. Feels good. Carson, you've been eating as much as I have. This kind of starts to get in the way, but what can I say? We'll work it off together. And one last thing in the beginning, touch the floor, touch the chest and up. Keep breathing, just regular breaths. Okay, now I want you to run to your broom closet and Grab your wife's favorite broom and cut it off about two and a half feet long, just like that. She won't mind, it's all good. We're gonna hold that stick out in front, or it could be a noodle, like we smack, or smack each other with, but I want you to hold that out and start to twist side to side. Sorry, I'm getting a little cut off here. You may have noticed I'm not a professional videographer. That's okay. We're gonna go with the flow. Stay relaxed in the shoulders, swing that around. Feels good, just getting warmed up here. That breathing coming. Now we're gonna go down to the floor in front of the knees, touch the chest, stretch it back as far as you can. That's it. Reaching back. Ah. That's it. One more. Now we're gonna hold that stick right smack in the middle with one hand. We're gonna open that arm up as far as you can in each direction. Feel that stretching out through the chest muscles. Should feel good. Oh yeah, I like that one. I like that one. Good. Oh, I've got a squeaky chair, how about that? Ha. Pick any chair I wanted. Now we're gonna switch hands, other side. See how I did it in the cool guy way? Good luck with that. <laughs> oh, that's good. Open that up. Should be feeling better already. Feel that blood flowing. That's a wrap. Now I'm not very good at counting, so I'm gonna stop there. Take that stick back with both hands up, and we're gonna stretch. Don't overdo this one. If you feel it pulling in a bad way, stop. Try to get over. Oh, don't hold your breath, I was just doing. Up and over. 
Good. That's it. Good. Just reach that growing. Stretch it forward. All the way. Reach it back. Stretch it. Good. That's it. Okay, let's start getting the legs involved here. We're gonna lift those knees up, touch, touch. Now it doesn't count if you go like this. I can see your people out there. You can tell if you're cheating. Up we go. Big brother is watching all times. Good, so that's a bent knee lift. Bringing that up. My knees look really big. Huh. Okay, now we're gonna stretch out the stick and kick up that leg. Kick it up. Get that muscle working right there. Anybody can do these. Don't give me an excuse. I can't do these exercises. Everybody can do this. And hopefully you've got your spouses exercising alongside, showing support. That's what it's all about right now. Other side, here we go. Kick that up. That's it. Excellent. That leg up. You can lean back a little bit if you need to, just to allow your legs to come a little bit higher. Good. Now we'll put the stick down. Feet come in together, knees in your hands. We're going to open that leg up. Really lift that up. Up and over. You're stepping over a, a small lap dog. Or maybe if you have a lap dog, put the dog down on the floor. Get some real live action there. There we go. Good. Excellent. That's a good one. Good. Open the pose. Open the pose. Open the pose. Whew. There we go. One more. And one last thing in our chairs. We're going to use these legs right here. So we're going to just take the right leg and just extend it. Extend it straight up. Try to lift that knee up a little bit. Try to get that leg all the way bent, or straighten. <laughs> bend, straighten. I know the difference, I really do. I tell you, I'm getting loopy already. What can I say? The other side, let's finish this off. Good. Good. And feel free to do, do this more often than once. Or continue on a little bit after. Good. Okay. Last thing. Just lift. You can't see my feet, but I'm lifting my heels off the ground. Then my toes. Put a little bit of weight onto your knees. Up and down we go. Just like that. Feel the burn, baby. Feel the burn. Good. Okay. It's time to use our dumbbells. And I'm not referring to anybody in particular in my video audience today. Yuck, yuck, yuck. Um, so we're gonna use our dumbbells, do a little bit of an upper body workout. Like I say, if you don't have dumbbells, you can use Campbell soup cans if, they're, if you manage to grab the last two on the shelves. So grab your soup cans or dumbbells, and we're gonna start with just a nice little easy curl. Let your arms fully extend and curl them up, just like that. So I got a little twist, I'm twisting, twist them up, just like that. Careful not to slouch, you wanna stay nice and tall. Oh, there goes the ball. Again, think about your breathing. Oh, ball's still moving. Okay. Now, from here, we're gonna take one hand up, and the other. Very functional exercise. You have to put something, put something away in the top shelf. Paint your ceiling in your house. <laughs> Drywall your ceiling. Whatever you'd like to do. Wouldn't this video be much nicer if I just stopped talking? That's ah, not gonna happen. Okay, good. Good, everybody loves that one, right? Now, we're gonna put one dumbbell down. Hold one in your right hand. 
Legs go nice and wide, and we're gonna just pull up like that. If you've got a couple of different sets of dumbbells, you'd wanna use a heavier one for this. Because you're able to utilize the big muscles in your back to do this one. Now what I don't wanna see is the whole body turning like this. You basically just wanna keep just the arm going. You wanna feel it down here right side of your back muscles. Again, try for like 10 to 12, maybe a few more, you feel good. You get up to about 20 or 30 reps, go out and buy a heavier can. Get like the chunky style soup, that's heavier. But don't get the calorie reduced, because it's always lighter. <laughs> oh, I see. oh, never mind, I'll stop talking for a while. There we go, so feel those muscles working in the back. Yes, indeed. And then we're gonna hold that in one hand and just drive it up overhead. You can hold this any way you like. You can hold it like this even. That's a nice way to do it. Just drive it up. Get a little bit of power into that. Push it up. Again, keep your back straight though. Don't wanna be slouching. No slouchers. Okay, we're gonna work our shoulders in the next three exercises. First of all, we're gonna bring the elbows in tight to the body, dumbbells together, and we're gonna pull them apart. Like you're stretching out a band. Squeeze the shoulder blades together. Really good for your posture. Squeeze together, that's it. Good. Feel that working? You can use a nice uh, band, like a theraband, to pull apart. That's a nice way to do this exercise. If you have rotator cuff issues, physiotherapists will often have you use a theraband. It's probably better than using dumbbells, to be honest, but that's what we got at the moment. Okay, give yourself a little break. Now we're gonna let those arms dangle at your side. Now we're gonna do empty in the cans. We're gonna lift one up, pour it out, and the other, pour it out. We're not gonna call it emptying the beer because that would be a travesty of justice. <laughs> Actually, I'm more into red wine these days, but I digress. There we go. Good. A little bit of a curve at the top, that little turn. Just makes you hold on to that exercise, that, that, that movement just a little tiny bit longer, which is good for the shoulders. Good. And are you ready? Everybody's favorite, which is washing the windows. Here we go. Here we go. One, two, three. Oh boy. Two. Let's try for ten. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Woo. Let's go the other way around. Oh, sometimes this one's even worse. Three. Isn't this fun? Aren't you glad you signed, joined up today? Woo! Six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Woo! Give those arms a shake out. Shake them out, shake them out. We're gonna do one more with the dumbbells. Grab them again, put them back on your knees, and let's just go for a little walk, a quick walk this time. Lifting, lifting. Doing good if you can feel your heart rate a little bit going a little bit faster. You can feel your breathing coming on a little stronger. Maybe even a little dribble of sweat coming on down your forehead. Is that asking too much? I don't think so. Good. Now let's go double time. Two, one, two, one, two, one, two, one, two, two, one, two, one, two, and well done. Okay, again, we're gonna transition now into some balance exercises. And uh, you can do these at home, no problem. All you need is a nice handy chair or something stable that you can hold on to. So I'm gonna go sideways just to kind of show you. We're gonna start with a simple leg lift forward and backwards. And if you can let go, that's even better. But just step forward, I'll move back a little bit. Step forward, step back. There we go. Forward, 
It's almost like you still have that little dog there, but now we're stepping up and over the dog. Feel free to hold on if you need to. Posture stays tall, and don't look at your feet, look straight ahead. Good. Feet on the other side. You might find one side is easier than the other. Oh, see, I lost it there. I'm losing it. I'm losing it. Okay. I call this one the, the hunting rabbit. Be very, very quiet. We're hunting rabbits. I'm okay. Right. Okay. Yeah. Now, even just to something as basic as arms out to the side, lift that foot up. Hold for a few seconds, back up. Try to get your leg parallel with the floor, just like that. So up, pause, and down. You have to commit to it. You're gonna feel your other leg moving around a whole lot, which is what you want. So it's gonna be strengthening the muscles around your ankles, around your shins, calves, they're all engaging. Even right up to your glutes, you might feel that. Good. Side. Up and go. And again, you can do these every day. Exercises like this are so good for you. Especially if you get pulled over on a Friday night. And you start touching your toes, your nose and stuff like that. But ease it up. Try to build up the amount of time you can hold that up there. And really focus in on how your other muscles are really engaging when you do that. You really feel in your hips and your glutes. So that's an easy way to strengthen all of your walking muscles. Good. Now one of my favorites is to stand like this, bring your foot up and over, you're shifting your center of gravity, up and over in front, just like that. Good. You can start to pick up the pace if you want to, it makes it a little harder. So you're shifting, see how my arms are moving? They're going to help me to counteract the shift in your equilibrium. Other side. Again, you can do more of these if you choose to. Yeah. Round it out to about 10 movements, roughly speaking, and build that up if you need to. Or if you want to, I should say. I right, so hope you do want to. All right, happy campers. We're gonna work on our leg strength now. So we're gonna work on a nice squat. What I don't wanna see is this. And it going forward, that's not good, that's bad. When you squat, you wanna push your glutes out behind you, like this. So that's why it's great to have a chair. Went for a little run this morning and, oh boy, I can feel it, I'm out of shape. Okay, so push back. Now you can also do it without holding. A nice way to do it is what they call an air squat. You have your arms back, bring them forward. And you're scooping the air and push your Glutes out behind you, squatting down. That's what we're after. Now after you've done about 100 of those, we'll turn to the side, and we're gonna start doing our leg abductions, which you all know and love. Lift that out. Notice how my toe is pointing straight ahead, towards you. Don't let your toe turn out like that. You wanna keep your toe like that. That really engages the glutes. Good. Again, you're gonna feel it all through here, up and down this leg, the supporting leg. The side. There I am. Professional videography at its finest, folks. Unbelievable. Good. That's a rafter. Good. Now it's really great if you can get into the habit of getting some moving type uh, leg exercises where there's a little bit of movement involved. I mean, we've been moving, but what I mean is like taking a step. So for this one, we're gonna do a reverse lunge, which just goes straight back like that. Straight back. And I'm not letting this leg go forward like that. I'm stepping back and I'm just bending that knee. What a great way to strengthen your legs. Good. So as soon as my back foot hits the ground, I just drop, just like that. It can be small, like that. And if this is giving you trouble, you can start 
We're just doing a little curtsy like that. Oh, well, it's not really a curtsy. Just like that. But you, it's better if you can get that motion going. Try the other side. And that's called a reverse lunge. Reverse lunge. Next leg exercise is for your calf muscles. So you want to go up nice and tall. You can pull your toes up right there. Go up nice and tall. And keep going until you feel the burn. Calf muscles really get like tired out, exhausted, fatigued, which is what you want. Feel people's muscles strong. Good. Well gang, that's it for today. I hope you had fun with the exercises. Uh, I'll be sending some more along very soon. We'll keep changing them up, add a little bit more. Until then, take care. Oh, first try, woo! Oh, first try.